against all the evil that hell can conjure. All the wickedness that mankind can produce, we will send unto them only you. Rip and tear until it is done. Everybody, my name is Rolak. Welcome to my newest Let's Play, Doom Eternal. Oh dear, that's some chunky frame rate right there off the start. Whoa. So, Doom Eternal, sequel to Doom 2016. <clears throat> yes, Doom Eternal, uh, sequel to Doom 2016, uh, plays very similar to the first game, although they have made a very large amount of uh, additional you know, gameplay elements, as well as improvements across several things. Uh, where to start? There's a lot of stuff to go through. Um, enemies are divided into different uh, subcategories, such as fodder for the zombies, which are pretty much just weak demons that you can farm for resources. There's obviously lore, but you can read that in your own discretion. Uh, lore for the combat shotgun, doom blade, uh, tutorials and all that. <clears throat> Especially being secrets. There are secrets in this game, as there were in the last game. Secrets, I think, are a lot more easier to come across than in the previous game. And, of course, glory kills are still in. Uh, when we damage a demon enough, it becomes staggered and we begins to flash. When we do it, when we see that, we press F to glory kill. That's pretty much the main basis of how the Doom Blade plays into it. Uh, we start with the combat shotgun instead of the pistol, and we do actually have a limited amount of ammo this time, so we can't go super gun crazy, but we will at several points. Uh, ammo, easily discernible, as get right off the bat, the chainsaw. Oh, we're getting a little tutorial as well. <coughs> oh, that's <laughs> oh, sorry. So the chainsaw, we use C to use it. Well, C for me, I don't know if it's, you know, if anything else. Uh, chainsaw, like in the previous game, restores ammo. Uh, like before, we use fuel to fuel up the chainsaw. Although I think once you hit zero, the chainsaw does indeed start to refill automatically. At least I think it does. Obviously refilled there because of our uh, tutorial. There seems to be the first secret. So... 
Seems like we gotta go over and above to get that. Maybe a door will unlock. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna admit, it has been quite a while. There's a secret. It has been quite a while since I've played through the entirety of the campaign for this game. So I may be a little unknowing of a few things. <coughs> and like in the first game, we collect little figurines. These ones being toys of various enemies and monsters. As well as a doom guy here and there. Now the question is, how do we get in there? I think that's just something that we'll get to eventually, so we shouldn't be worrying too much about it. Uh, you start with health, 100 health. Uh, we have armor, of course, haven't come across any just yet. Uh, we see symbols like this, it means they're punchable, so go ahead and press F to melee. Uh, you can double jump right off the bat, thanks to the space boots that we've had from the previous game. Uh, grab on the ledges. Pretty much any ledge, I don't think it's just limited to uh, the green light up ones. Armor, helmets are worth 25, uh, full armor, body armor is for 50, and the shards are worth 2. And this. Weapon mods. Right off the bat, we get a weapon mod. So, weapon mods, similarly to the first game, uh, amplify your combat usability of your weapons. Uh, we've got sticky bombs, which are, I think, were also a thing in the last game with the shotgun. <clears throat> and also full auto. I think this is different from the... Oh, it was a triple blast and a grenade launcher for the shotgun in the last game. Uh, full auto, we were able to roll the barrel, basically turn the ends into an automatic shotgun, similar to the one from Turok. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and... Unlock the sticky bombs first. Thank you kindly. Alright. And we activate a weapon mob. Obviously hold the right click and fire away. So, as for the weapons... Let's see. Yes, so we're obviously going to have to get tokens to upgrade weapons further. And once we get these two upgrades done, we can progress to... Uh, the mastery, which will have us needing to do special traits. As for now, sticky bomb lodges on the enemies, like so. Very self-explanatory. Break them in this wall. I'm not sure as to what exactly is going on with these frame drops, but it shouldn't be too big of an issue. Oh boy. <clears throat> Maybe it's just the game warming up. Uh, we got soldiers there. Pretty standard enemies. Uh, point blank for a shotgun, a stagger, a blaster, plasma rifle. A whole bunch of different things that we don't have just yet. And the imp. Good old classic imp. Enemies throw around fireballs. Nope, come here. As well as trying to get in close to you and slash at you. Already at low ammo. Do not be dis disconcerned that, you're, that you'll run out of ammo fairly uh, quickly. Because it does tend to happen. And of course, once we get more weapons unlocked, we will be getting more usages as to how to kill enemies. But for now, thankfully, there seems to be a fairly large amount of weapon, or just ammo lying around, at least. You got in the way of my grenade. There we go. Should also point out, melee has been changed a bit. It's no longer you butting them with the, with the butt of your gun, and melee doesn't actually do any damage. Uh, melee is just to unlock things and break open walls. Uh, yeah, that's all there is to it. Melee also just activates the glory kill, so that's also there. Alright. Uh, all the items over here are what you'll be finding in a level. And the levels tend to be pretty long. Uh, this is a little combat in, uh, display where we had combat, obviously. This seems to be the objective just further ahead, so let's go ahead and just head on forward. Ah, lore! So, throughout the entirety of the game, we're going to be finding lore pieces, evident by a little codex, such as so. Um, yeah, pretty much just tells us about uh, various things about the Hell Army and several other things. Uh, give it a pause if you want to read it, but for me, I'm just going to continue on. These are pretty interesting lore bits as well, so do take a time to read if you want to.
consumption of Earth has been reduced by 36.8%. There are two Hell Priests remaining. So yeah, welcome to Earth. <laughs> Looking a lot more like Hell than what Earth would normally look like. Uh, now you might be wondering, well, what happened in between Doom and Doom Eternal? Uh, that's a good question. I cannot answer that. <laughs> I don't really think it's actually been fully discussed as to exactly what happened in between games. But from what I can tell, um, demons have fully invaded Earth somehow, and now pretty much a good chunk, like 80% of the population is dead, as far as I'm aware. Um, we can... No, we can't. Uh, so let's unlock full auto. There we go. So yeah, a big chunk of the Earth population is dead, and of course we're set to go ahead and kill every last demon. Uh, like before, press R to swap weapon mods. Weapon mod swappage is a little slow, so use them before combat. And I guess we'll use full auto for a little bit, just to show it off. Uh, objective marker, obviously. Left alt. Oh yeah, that is a thing you can do. I forgot about that. Uh, doesn't seem to be anything else over there. By the way, much improvement over the map from the last game. As it just shows pretty much the entirety of the map. And what is to come. Which I really enjoy. It's a lot bigger of improvement than the last map. Oh, Kako Demon. Already in County O's? Huh, okay. Where are they? Where, oh, where? Probably not just yet. It's weird that we get a codex entry for it at least. Oh, do we have missions yet? No, we do not. I'm assuming that's going to be for the next level, though. Ah, armor shards. Oh, they're worth ten or five. Okay. Ah, here we go. Okay. Looks like I got some pole vaulting stuff. Can you go away, please? Uh, anything else in this area? I'm going to just do a little exploration. It doesn't hurt to explore a little bit, as there are obviously a lot of secrets to go and round and find. So explore to your heart's discontent. Uh, there aren't any of the Doom Classic levels to find, so don't worry about me finding levers anywhere. Grab onto the pole, do a little vault, you can do another jump, double jump after that. Ah, the Arachnotron. So, whenever you encounter a new enemy, the game will tell you about their weak points. And, you know, basic strategy. You can turn these off in the, op in the menu, but I think it's just a better introduction. So, uh, certain demons have certain weak points in this game. Uh, the Arachnotron, for example, wherever it may be. Where is it? Nope, that's a soldier. There he is. So the Arachnotron's weakness is the turret. Hit it with a bomb, and it becomes really, really weak. From there, just go ahead and shoot it all you want. Classic Doom, shoot until it dies. Glory kills. Very nice. Oh, and it just completely disappeared. <laughs> And we got a counter for Butcher. I don't remember what that is. God, man. It's really bizarre just to be at this level. Considering I've played this game pretty much fully decked out with everything. Because you get a lot of good things later down the road. Should also mention, uh, when you're in fights like these, you don't have to worry about, like, the little fodder enemies. You want to really worry about the ones that actually, you know, aggressively attack you, such as the soldiers and imps. Um, because combat ends when you're pretty much done fighting anything that can pose an actual threat. <clears throat> oh, yeah, leveled up. Nice. <laughs> this game also has a, uh, online, like, level system type of thing. I don't really care much for it. I mean, why would anybody really? But yeah, a bunch of zombies still left over there. Obviously no threat anymore, so we can just go ahead and move on. And grab our second weapon. The... Come on. Yeah. Heavy cannon. Not the same as the assault rifle from the previous game, as it does have some differences from the two. For example, shoots a little bit slower, but it's not too much of a big deal. And we got a map. 
auto map to be exact. Uh, it reveals all undiscovered areas on the map, and it also can reveal valuable items in the world, such as I think secrets. And we missed one way back there, so I'm gonna go ahead and backtrack real quick and see what that is. So I'll be right back. Or not. Never mind. <laughs> A lot of points where you really can't go back at a certain point. <clears throat> but don't let that deter you. Uh, I think once you get to the end of the level, the game allows you to go back to certain points and actually unlock or actually acquire uh, other things to make it easier to collect everything, which is very handy. Uh, as for now, I think we're good to just go keep heading forward, so let's do just that. Heavy cannon is my honestly preferred weapon just because it fires a lot faster than the shotgun. I mean, the shotgun's, you know, helpful and all that, but certain things call for other certain things. Yeah, armor is worth 50 as far as I'm... Well, it, it can get us to 50. That's the amount of armor we can carry at the moment. Some severe infighting going on with the demons still, it seems. don't know what's going on with these frame drops. Oh, is that a Kako demon? No, but it's just this guy popping up. I'm... Oh, there's an Arachnotron, though. Oh, I do have low ammo. Uh, weapon wheel returns. Hold down Q, swap it over. Uh, do we have... Yes, we do. Where, where'd you... Oh, wait. Oh, missed. There we go. Down you go. What is Butcher? Oh, is that for... What is Butcher for? Oh, challenges. Okay, yeah, I don't care all that much. <laughs> as far as I'm aware, that doesn't have any concern for the story mode, so... Yeah, we will not be worrying about that. And we do have fairly low ammo on both weapons. I'll just find some fodder enemy to kill. The chainsaw, at least. <clears throat> like you. There we go. Uh, chainsaws will not always restore you full ammo. But it's nothing to be too concerned about. Let's show off this for a little bit. Yeah, full automatic shotgun. Makes for very devastating attacks. I do want to try and conserve as much ammo as I can. Uh, okay, I think we're good just to head forward. That's as far as a yellow key, so we're not going to be getting through there just yet. Bust up you. I will be primarily using the grenade launcher, but just because it has... Is there somebody behind me? There is. Grenade Ultra has a lot more use than the uh, full auto. Full auto is nice, just more enemies have more weaknesses to uh, the grenade launcher. Uh, oh, there's a life over there. So yes, yeah, so this game has lives. Uh, instead of just dying outright... Oh, there it is. Hey. So, instead of just dying outright, like when you reach zero, you die and you have to go back to your last checkpoint, you instead get one-ups. Um, extra lives immediately revive you if we run out of health. But once we run out of extra lives, we go back to our next checkpoint. So extra lives are more or less to get you into, keep you into the game when you die. So you don't have to just go back to the very beginning. Wall climb, again, to the moment. Kill you. Uh, is there anything else? Nope, okay. So wall climb. Press F to climb onto it. You can look around, you can't shoot. Climb up and down and around. Pretty self explanatory. So a green light. That's kind of discerning. Oh, and there's the yellow key. Nice. Uh, we've collected quite a bit of things. Haven't collected everything. <clears throat> so yeah, this is this these these things mean that we're gonna get into like some combat. Whoop! Speaking of which. So there's the yellow key. Okay. No, I could have done that at least. Alright. 
and we're going to be heading into more. I don't know how long I'm going to make these episodes. <laughs> I think I'll just go along, go as far as long as I feel. Anything around here? Doesn't seem like it. Got these weird little turret things. Don't know what those are about. You're gonna be seeing that a lot. <laughs> Whoa! Nah. Somebody. Oh, geez. If you see me take random, like, stops when I'm shooting, uh, I do apologize because my mouse is a tiny bit of a piece of crap, as it doesn't always want to just stay held down for some reason. It doesn't respond well. It's getting old, even though it's not that old, which is very annoying. Okay. Ooh, weapon mod. Let's see what we can get for our... Sh uh, let's see. So, different things. We still have the micro-missiles, which are just shoot missiles instead of bullets. But the scope has been changed. Instead of just aiming down the scope and rapid-firing, it's more. it turns more into a sniper. Which is helpful, and I think I'll grab it just for the hell of it. Position bolt unlocked. Alright. <clears throat> Thanks, little buddy. Alright. Okay, yeah, aim down. Fire. It takes about six bullets per shot, as you can see right there. Headshots, obviously, priority. Now then, I think I'm going to end it here, because we're going on for a little bit of a while, and I, we have still plenty of level to go. The le levels in this game are long, and I seem to have missed a one-up back there. So I'll go ahead and grab that later. How do you get actually up there? I'll have to figure that out in the next episode. So, next time on Doom Eternal, we're going to be heading further deeper into the subway station, hopefully getting towards the Citadel. See you guys next time.